Michael Pitt. So Michael Pitt. And Cass Van Sant. Un duo pour un film. Un duo pour un very, very strong film. Nicole Vicious, Asia Argento. Nicole Vicious. Scott Green et Lucas Haas. Asia Argento. Scott Green et uh, Lucas Haas. L'équipe de production du film est là aussi. The production team is there. Danny Wolf. Harris Savides, le directeur de la photographie que vous avez vu également arriver. Donc toute la Harris Savides est là. Cinématographe. Danny Wolf, qui est le producteur du film. Danny Wolf, qui est le producteur. Il est le premier assistant directeur. C'est sort of a, for me, an explanation of. I guess anyone's life, you know, a, a sort of winding down of a person's uh, humor and um, try, somebody trying to get away from from something that they can't quite get away from that I, I hope, you know, relates to many different um, situations, you know, not and, and using using his kind of situation as a as a uh, parable or a metaphor for for others. Me and Gus kind of, um, we just, we read all the books and we saw all the footage, and, but mostly what we did um, was, uh, was just talk. You know, we just talked about that time and, and the people involved. And, um, and then I do, you know, I do things like I change my diet and the way I walk and stuff like that. But, um, I don't know, that's, that's it, really. We that's basically had a lot of uh, <clears throat> just sort of musings about um, maybe a period of time and a story that we knew, but it kind of always related. Since it's an invisible time, nobody really knew what happened during that period of Kurt Cobain's life. We had to make it up, so we were always like just inventing you know, ideas. It was, a, it was a filling in of a blank. Um, and we never really like um i guess we michael and i always knew what it was about without even talking about it but we never uh, we sort of just we talked about details not specific things yeah, yeah not dramatic scenes we talked about like just stuff even the script was kind of like a list of things rather than yeah maybe like a dramatic situation you never really know what what gus is doing but that's um that's what's scary and that's what's really exciting too um kind of have to I think you have to submit and just you, you have to trust him and I did um, as far as like figuring out scenes um, one of the one of the, the the greatest things I think about um, Gus as a director is that he doesn't have any ego and um, uh, he never he, he he would never really tell you exactly what you have to do because he doesn't have to he knows how to make it work, whatever you do. Um, so a lot of it was like uh, us bouncing off ideas and um, I guess, I assume, um, with Gus keeping uh, sort of a, um, uh, the map of the story in his head.